Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do coxcombing. Originally, coxcombing was used to protect lines that are passed through ring bolts. However, these days it's used more as a decorative effect for um, decorative rope work. And as you can see here, on the very end of my bell rope here, I have got some coxcombing. And it just gives a lovely effect when finishing off a decorative piece of work. It also gives it added protection as well, so that it doesn't chafe or wear. And that is coxcombing. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to not use this size cord to show you how to do coxcombing, but I will use some larger stuff so that it's easier to follow. Okay then. Here we're going to do some coxcombing. What I've done here is, I've, just for the demonstration purposes here, is I have got a piece of plastic pipe and on that piece of plastic pipe I have attached three different coloured cords. Normally when I do cox combing I use one colour however if you want to use two or three colours go ahead but it, I'm just using it to demonstrate to you how to do cox combing. Okay the way I start off is first of all I use the middle strand to start with so what we'll do is We'll get all the strands out of the way except the middle one. Okay, and so we have the middle strand there. And I will then wrap it round the back of my pipe here and then tuck it in underneath and pull it all the way through. Okay, so there we go. That is the middle one now attached. Okay. My process is I go middle, left, then right. So the left one is the yellow. So what we do now is we bring the yellow cord round the back of the pipe and then pass the end through that piece there underneath and pull it through. And there we go. We've now got two of them wrapped around our PVC pipe like so. Then, we've done the middle one, we've done the left one, we now do the right one, which is the green one, and then we take the green one over the yellow one there, pass it round the back of our PVC pipe like so, then pass the end underneath that piece of the green there, and just pull it through until it's tight. Okay, and then you can work your way back and just pull them all up nice and tight. Okay, once we've done our first group, like so, we then go from there and we always work with the bottom one first. So as you can see, the green one is the top one, the yellow one is the next one down, and the very bottom one, this one here, is the red one. So we take the red one round, pass it over like that, underneath, the back of the pipe and then pass it through to tighten it off okay like so and then just go back and tighten them all up okay we then take the bottom one again and this time we take the bottom one pass it over the previous one the red one that we just did take it round the back Take it through like so and pull it tight. Okay, work your way back, pulling them all tight, and you can gradually see here that a nice V pattern is starting to form. So, once again, we take the bottom one, which is the green one there, we bring it over the yellow one like so, wrap it round the back of our pipe. Tuck the end through like so, and bring it up and tighten again. There we go. And then once again, the bottom one is the red one. We take that over the green one that we've just tied like so. Round the back of the pipe, through, and pull it through like so. Okay, and then once again, Take the yellow one, 
over the red one that we've just tied, bring it round the back and tuck it through underneath like so. That's it. And then go back and tighten them all up. Go back and tighten them nice and tight so that we end up with that nice straight V line going up there. Okay, and that's basically how we do cox combing. What I'll do is I'll tie a bit more and bring you back to this. So, save a bit of time. What I've done is I've done a few more turns and as you can see, that lovely pattern is starting to form on our length of pipe here. The other good thing about cox combing is it's one of those where you can actually do a bit, put it down, and when you come back to it, it's easy enough to know exactly where to carry on from. So in this particular case, if you look at our cords, we always start at the bottom cord. The bottom cord is the yellow cord, and all we do is bring the yellow cord over like that, round the back, and then tie it off tight like so. Now the bottom one in this one is the green one. So we bring the green one over the previous one, bring it round the back, and then tighten it off like so. Once again, bottom one now is the red one. So we bring the red one over, round the back, and tighten it off like so. And you can see that beautiful V pattern is working its way up our length of pipe. Okay, what I recommend is that when finishing off, or at both ends, let's say, if this is on a decorative piece of work, is put a nice Turk's head around here to lock the start off, and then another Turk's head around the end here to finish the end off, okay? And to be honest, this can be as long as you want with Cox combing, and then just Tie a Turk's head at one end, Turk's head at the other end, and there you have it. You have a nice decorative piece of work.